Simple things that count. Welcome to Lifeline with Comfort. Lifeline with Comfort is a program that is designed to equip, empower, inspire, and motivate you to awaken the giant within you. I'm so happy to be on your screen today, and I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to subscribe if it is your first time and turn on the notification button so that you uh, get to be updated every time I put up a post. I'm excited to be here. There's a giant within you. There's something inside of you and this program seeks and hopes to be able to inspire you and bring out what God has planted inside of you. Simple things that count. Number one simple thing I want to talk about is the use of this uh, phrase, thank you. Uh, the Bible said, give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his mercies endures forever. Giving thanks is an attribute of a person that is wise. Every time you compliment or thank somebody, you inspire the person, you encourage the person to do more. When we thank God, we notice that he would respond to us even much more than we ever thought. Now, God is a faithful God, don't get me wrong, but anytime you thank him, he, is, he, he you spur him to doing more. A wise man once said that anyone that cannot think cannot thank. That means if you think properly, you will thank people you will thank God. It's very important because uh, there was a writer, I love what he wrote, Eric Hoofer once said, the hardest arithmetic to master is that which enables us to count our blessings. We need to count our blessings, the Bible said, name them one by one. Then it will surprise you what God has done. You know, if you are a person full of thank, uh, thanksgiving, you would always appreciate the little, the great, the, 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 the mighty that people have done for you. Even a cup of water, a cup of tea. If you are a person of gratitude, you thank people. And sometimes we'll talk about it as if it's a lottery. You have won. I notice that that attracts a lot of love and blessing to you. Simple things that count. Number one, thank you. The other thing I need to say is uh, the word or yes, the word well done. I understand that a lot of people uh, say these things casually and some people don't know the importance of giving that word of affirm affirmation well done. You might be a boss and you or you have a company or you work with a team or you you, you know you are leading in some capacity or the other or you are married uh, you have friends around you I don't know uh, which category you may fit in but you must understand how powerful well done can be. Um, I learned from uh, my mentor uh, to publicly commend people and privately rebuke them. And so if you have this habit of publicly saying to people, well done, publicly saying to people, you are, you just did amazing, awesome, oh wow, fantastic, not, not, you know, not flattering people, but genuinely complimenting them, much more comes out uh, from them. Uh, you need to understand something. Since compliment is free to give, it's important we learn to give it in our homes, in our marriages, to our spouses, to our children, on our teams. Everywhere we are, it's good to compliment people. I go as far as complimenting people's haircuts. I know some people just, oh my God, she just said my hair. She noticed that, yes. It's very important to make people know that they are important. Do you know I was trying to understand the, the, um, the origin or the meaning of the word well done. Well done is a word used to express approval. So you can, you know, someone did uh, a, a, a great thing or delivered something, you know, uh, or did something nice or exceptional. You can tell them well done. Well done. This is amazing because it makes them want to achieve more. Research shows that uh, receiving a compliment enhances performance. So if you want somebody to do better, tell them, well done. Tell them you have done amazing. Tell, tell them, you know, tell them great things. Don't wait till it's their funeral morning. Or don't wait till they are dead and you just go and write it on the condolence register. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. It's unimportant at the time. Okay, and I always tell people this, and I'm very candid with this, that I throw words of affirmation, words of love to people when they can hear it. I'm somebody that when you are, when someone's alive, I tell you what you need to hear. If I, 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 I've driven past 
gossip and I'll stop the fan and say, oh, I like your eyebrow. I've done that before because it could make the person's entire day. Show words of affirmation, not condemnation on people. Research also shows that uh, um, it improves social interaction. So anytime you compliment people, they have this confidence to interact properly with other people. Number three is uh, it creates positivity in relationships. There are some friends you have or people around you, they will always say, I, you know, I always say the truth and they damage and wound you all the time. But anytime you have a win, anytime you do something really nice, they don't even compliment uh, you know, so such kind of people you need to uh, stylishly avoid them because they're damping your spirit, your performance will go low if you keep hanging around them. The fourth thing you need to know uh, is that it increases general happiness. Compliment does. I noticed that uh, married couples don't know how important this is. If your wife is not good at tidying up all the time, but she's good at, uh, at doing the, the uh, homework of the children, compliment her. If your husband is not doing so well, you know, uh, possibly, maybe financially there's a little breakdown or something, but he's good at giving the children haircuts, he's good at doing every other thing, compliment the good in people. You don't need to keep talking about the negative things. If your son comes back from school, has an excellent attitude, but, but does poorly in mathematics, compliment the attitude attitude while you're working on the mathematics we need to learn to to tell people well done compliment use uh, words that are that that can en encourage them and boost their their personality and the last thing uh, or the third i would like to say simple things that count is i apologize i apologize is so powerful and you don't know how powerful that is a while ago i i just discovered that I am sorry is different from I apologize. I am sorry is means I am wretch, wretched, I beg your pardon. I am worthless. I am poor. And guess what? I am sorry is not the best way uh, to apologize. Your best or your better saying, I apologize. Now, the word I'm sorry is often used. But it, was, it dates back, it's a word that dates back to the 13th century uh, when uh, people, you know, uh, would debase themselves, that's reduce themselves before some uh, noble people or some leaders just to prove how bad they feel about what they did. And anything that brings you down completely just to express how you feel is not a good thing, is not a positive thing to use on yourself. You are you must learn, okay, uh, to, uh, to exchange I am sorry with I apologize. If you uh, understand what I apologize uh, means, in literal sense, saying I apologize means I am giving an answer, excuse or defense for, for what I have done. What I did was an offense, it offended you, but here is the excuse with which I did it. It doesn't mean you're saying, I apologize, and then you're giving a fight. No, but you are not having to say to yourself, I am wretched, just in order to explain. So you know you are wrong when you apologize. You take note of the fact that it is not nice. Okay, but then, I am wrong. I did this, I did that. But I apologize. I won't do it again. It's a better way, you know, to uh, express yourself. And these are simple things that... Count. The reason why uh, some of these things are important is because when you keep saying, I am sorry, what you're saying uh, is, I am wretched, I am poor, and that means you're prophesying, you know, because the words of your mouth are important. And so, if you keep saying, I am poor, I am rich, I, you're calling, falling it into existence. And so, you should stop saying, I am sorry, but I apologize. These simple things count and they can shape your life. The last thing I'd like to say uh, on this series of simple things that count is forgiveness. The, it's very important to note that uh, forgiveness uh, has doesn't just have everything to do with you, but it has uh, with the person that, that you offended or offended you. But it has everything to do with you. Um, a wise man once said, "To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that that prisoner was you." Uh, if we look at scriptures properly, if we look at the book of Matthew, chapter 6, the Bible says something, but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. You must always take note of this, that if the 
issue of forgiveness has everything to do with your heavenly father. That you're not only commanded to forgive just so that uh, people keep oppressing you, but so that you are forgiving your sins. There's nobody that is without sin. And so you want God to forgive you. And it's very important. Also, when he continued, he said, moreover, when we fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance. And so every of these things, you can't even sort out your spiritual work with God if forgiveness is not at the forefront. If someone, um, uh, if you offended somebody, ask for forgiveness. If you, or somebody offends you, forgive in advance. My, my uh, father-in-law always said that. He says he forgives. He bounces off up forgiveness uh you know uh, because people will be people and people will offend you when the disciples of jesus asked him how many times shall we forgive what did jesus say i want you to put it on the comment section i hope you have had a fantastic time on this broadcast please uh, subscribe to this channel and every week great uh inspirational uh, motivational words backed up with the power of the holy ghost will come to you right at the comfort of your home my name is comfort and god bless you mightily and see you next week on lifeline with comfort